What is up guys, welcome back to another episode of working on the blown Evo 10. So what we are gonna start off with today, if you if you watched yesterday's video, you know that we got this thing running and this is part two, or like the second video of the same day. Yeah, it's a 2008. Bobby's over there putting insurance on this car because we gotta go drive it. We have two hours before the oil shop closes that sells AMS oil here locally and it's about an hour drive. So what we're gonna do is check over all the fluids and we have to get the AYC system blood as well. I've never done that at home, so I hope Bobby can help me out with that. So I just pull off the cam sensor and pin three, or pin, the middle pin, pin two, is completely folded in half. Sick. If I can't fix it, we're screwed, baby. We are screwed. No, we're not. Dude, I only have like 40 other cam sensors laying around. Wait, this thing's pretty fucked. Can we just steal more parts off of your cars? That's what I, that's my specialty. Fuck that cam sensor. No, you're really organized back here. This shop is a disaster. That's what I had to follow you back here for, baby. We gotta get a new cam sensor, dog. All right, so I never finished what I was saying about bleeding the AYC system. <laughs> you start the car, leave it in neutral, all four tires off the ground. Bobby comes back here, cranks the wheel back and forth, and I crack the bleeders. I've never done it before, so I'm not gonna tell you guys how to do it if I've never done it. That's just what I read online. If you Google Evo 10 or Evo X AYC system bleed, it'll be the first thread that you guys see. So if you wanna do it yourself, go peep up that thread. Right now we're changing cam sensor, gotta put oil in it, and then we can bleed the system and dip out. Wait, no, we gotta do headlights. We gotta put headlights on this bad bitch. Oh, baby. All right, we got that cam sensor swapped out. I'm gonna check the oil, check the coolant, and check the transfer case and transmission as well. Make sure all those are full. I know the rear diff is full. Already checked that. So get all that checked and then we can bleed this AYC system. So right now, Bobby is doing the two, the two to three thousand RPM break in. I don't know why I checked the tranny and transfer because we haven't put it in gear yet. We kind of let the fluid go where it needs to go, so I'm gonna have her do that as well. And as she's doing that break in, it's super boring to do, so that's why I'm gonna have her do it. Um, I'm gonna clean up the shop because we gotta get ready to leave and go pick up oil for this thing. Well, the gas light is flashing and that's the last thing I want to do is run this thing dry, especially trying to like break in a new motor, running lean, probably not the best idea in the world. So Bobby took the truck to go get gas. In the meantime, I'm kind of just cleaning up the shop. When you're trying to do that two to 3000 RPM thing for break in, in gear, the traction control light kept, kept coming on and it wouldn't let us disable the traction control. I'm guessing it was coming on because the car's up in the air. Makes sense, right? You can't really tell that, you know, the car's up in the air and what we're trying to do. So. We were trying to disable the traction control and it won't let us because the whole AOIC system isn't bled. I'm gonna keep trying to disable it, but yeah. We do have about 30 minutes to get this thing on the ground and road ready though, so Bobby better hurry up. All the oils are good to go. Bobby is gonna throw in the headlights herself. Do they have bulbs in them? No bulbs. What? You're lying. I swear to God, look. Does it look like there's a bulb? There's bulbs in the freaking box. No, there's not. Yeah, You look. didn't buy bulbs, you have to select. What's in here then? Bulbs. <laughs> Crikey, girl. Uh, this is really, really stressful. But anyways, Bobby's gonna put in the headlights. Ow, and please. That's wiring. Oh, you gotta do that part? No, you're doing it. No. And then we're gonna take the car down and go for the very first drive, driving to Spokane to get some oil.
Let's make that dog. Yeah. All right, let's head in. We're gonna head in right now, grab some oil for this car, come back and change it out and maybe change out the taillights and some other things. And I'm freaking starving, so I need to go eat some damn food. Department closed, the auto department. Oh, okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You too, bye-bye. Eight o'clock. Eight, okay. All right, guys, so there is one intercooler piping. Uh, of course, I've got a Titan, and it keeps blowing, and the car's hardly running, so we are... I thought we were cutting it close on time, but it turns out we're not, and yeah, this thing's gonna die. What did I forget? Big rip. Oof. This is how we're whipping it today. No front bumper. Oh, we also need coolant feed, babe. Okay. Much better. This thing just wants to freaking rip. You can just feel it. Can I do one pull? No, 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 no. One pull for the boys. No. For the girls? Everything's going pretty good. The one thing I'm really confused with is why the light for the AYC pump turned off and I'm really confused because we never bled the system. But if it doesn't come back on, then I guess we're not gonna bleed it. We're just gonna drive it. But I have a feeling it'll come back on eventually. You happy? Yes, I'm just really hangry. So they didn't end up having the oil that we needed here at the general store. The place I usually go to has like winter hours right now and they're closed until for two more days. So two more days, Bobby can't really drive this car. They did have other oil here that I was gonna get, but I just had a bad feeling about switching oils like on a brand new motor. I don't know if it would matter switching from AMS oil to, I think if they had Royal Purple Breaking Oil. Drop a comment down below if you are knowledgeable about oils. Cause I mean, to me, it just makes sense to stick with the oil that I'm always used to running and that's in the car right now. I guess we're gonna head back to the house and maybe change out the taillights, do some other small mods on the car. Two of the wheels are severely, severely bent too. Both wheels on this side of the car are just, they're just straight fuckered. All right, so this thing's been idling pretty low and the boost gauge also isn't really reading. I'm pretty confident that there is a boost leak somewhere, a vacuum leak. So, should we go check her out? Maybe after we're done eating. I won't be able to eat unless I know what the problem is. Your boost gauge should read around like 20 pounds of vacuum, so it'll say negative 20 on the boost gauge, okay? I don't see anything. No, it hasn't said anything this whole time. Yeah, I'll uh, check it out at home. Let's okay. go eat. The first drive. You digging it? I am digging it. How's that clutch feel? Good. It's so smooth. Oh, it's a cop stage too. And I, I really, it. really like it. Bet you don't want to do a pull for the boys. No, not yet. Not yet? Soon? Yes. Ooh. Mm. That's a happy girl smile right there. This is mine. <clears throat> so what we're doing right now, heading to Costco. Bobby is gonna buy a new battery because she's still mine. The old battery in here was so crusty and old and wouldn't hold a charge for anything. So buy a new battery, head back to the shop, put the new windshield wipers on, bumper on check out the foods once again and then it's gonna sit here for for two days which is okay because she sells the truck to drive and I'm going to the surgery and I want to kind of look over a few more things make sure we don't have any leaks and all that good stuff before I just hand it off to her and let her drive it for years and years you know what's gonna be hard for you is when you're done with your surgery and you have to hop up into the truck I was planning we we're planning on taking this but, I know. Uh, yeah I'm excited not for my surgery for your car. Me too. I don't want my surgery. I'm excited for your surgery because it's just one more thing like out of the way. Like you don't have to be like, oh, until I get my surgery. She runs good, huh? So good. Literally perfect. I wonder why. I wonder who built the motor. Ooh, yeah. All right, show right there one second. I'll have to put her on ramps.
We are back in the shop going over a few things. I noticed a suspension clunk. So the lower control arm right there, there is a pretty fat bolt that was a little bit loose. I don't know if that was a problem, but it was a problem. There was that vacuum leak and I feel like the idle is getting better. I don't know if the ECU just has to like relearn some things, but that T right there is pretty ghetto. And then there's a cap on the intake pipe that is crusty and dry. So I'll replace that or both of those. While I'm working up here, Bobby's doing her thing and she's doing something. I don't really know what. Don't you need to remove this to get to the taillight? You're a smart cookie. Don't break them, don't drop them, you'll get in trouble. What do you mean I just dropped one? You're in trouble. Why? Because you're not allowed. So I find it slightly amusing, but Bobby is doing the same headlights and taillights as my car, so she has no original style. What? She just likes to steal all my ideas. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Honey. You have no OG style swag, bro. Personal, do you want me to tell you the truth? I went on and found Red Evos and I, I took a whole bunch of other people's style and put it into one and they just happen to be the same stuff that you have. So these taillights require a bit of wiring. I kind of forget because it's been a minute since I did it. But it's like an extra harness, it's kind of annoying. But you already know, let's get after it. Tail lights and then and then your flashers as well. Okay. Oh boy. Oh yep. Can I see? Hit the brakes. Sick. Yeah, come look. Ooh. Oh. That's because you have your keys with you. I know. You like? Yeah, those look really good. Really good. I know I've been stocking on putting parts down in the description box, but headlights and taillights we just put on this car. I'll throw them both down there for you guys if you want to go pick a setup for your own ride. All right, let's get this wheel back on and throw the bumper on too. That has a little crack in the front lip thing, so we'll, we'll replace that eventually. But um, yeah, this thing's driving sick, driving amazing. I dig it. God damn, she looks fine as hell. I was talking about you. You look sexy in your red Ava. but send it hard for the boys. You know you're not low if you don't even scrape. Damn, this thing's sick. I should wash it though, babe. We forgot to aim your headlights. I know, Frank. We can do that some other day. I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna clean up the shop and you can back her in, right? It looks so much different with a bumper. Looks sick, huh? Yeah, for real. You like it? Looks so good. Yeah, I love it. Thanks, baby. You can kiss the camera. 